guys, welcome to another episode of Koali Pops. My name is Mulan, and today we are going to be creating the epic hamburger dress that Katy Perry was wearing at the Met Gala. Yes, we are turning this into a doll cake. It is possible, and it stayed up, and it didn't fall over like I was scared it was going to. So let's get started. Now before we get started, make sure you hit that like button. It really helps me out with the algorithm and that in turn leads to a whole bunch of other things which allow me to produce more cakes. So go ahead and do that. You do it. You did it. Thank you. Thank you so much. So this cake is very reliant on my PVC pipe stand system because I didn't know how else to do it. Now I'm just adding two pieces of cardboard and each piece of cardboard has a hole in it for the PVC pipe as well as the doll that's gonna go in the middle. Now to create this, I'm layering six inch round cakes. I'm gonna layer three of them. And they all have that exact same hole. So the hole for the pipe as well as a space for my doll. This stood. I'm amazed that this stood up because <laughs> I was scared that I was gonna fall over and I was like, okay, well maybe this wasn't meant to be a cake. So I've got two layers of my fun Fetty cake and then I just plunged my Barbie doll into the middle. Voila, look at that. Look how simple that was. I'm gonna add buttercream into the bottom as well as like behind her because when the buttercream solidifies in the fridge, it'll make it so that this is far more stable than it is right now. I don't know how stable it is, it didn't fall over though, so I'm happy. Now there is gonna be filling because this is a burger. And so I'm cutting off the caramelization of the middle cake, just so that when I start adding all of the fondant filling, it can rest on the bottom bun. Then more icing. All the way around, just keep going all the way around. Now I'm gonna suffocate her maybe a little bit if she's a Toy Story doll, but I've gotta wrap this hair to keep it out of the way because I didn't want to get icing on it. Now for the top layer of cake, I'm doing this in two parts because her hands posed a very big problem. I'm just using buttercream as glue and just gluing these two cakes together. Just like that. Come on! This was very iffy. I was scared that they were just gonna collapse. It's very possible because I don't know what I'm doing. And then I gave this baby a crumb co. I had to give her crumb co because I was going to watch Detective Pikachu. <laughs> And I didn't want the cake to get like crusty while it was in the fridge. So I was like, okay, the crumb coat will make sure that I seal in all the moisture. It'll be good. Now I'm curious, have you seen it? I liked it, but I watched the commercials and I watched the trailer and everything in the movie was in the trailer. So that I wasn't surprised really. And I figured out the twist. So I was like, okay. I, I think if they hadn't showed everything, I would have been like, wow. But I was like, oh, I saw that already. And that was just an extended, this just seems like an extended trailer, this whole thing. Will I go watch another one? Yes, I loved seeing all of the realistic Pokemon Bulbasaur. I told you, I knew he would be my favorite in the movie, and he was. The sound that he made when he's just like walking around, it's the cutest thing in the world, you guys. Now, did you like the movie? Let me know in the comments below. Let's get back to this cake. Now, after I took my cake out of the fridge, I had to carve the top of it, and because the icing had solidified a lot, it was really easy, and this cake was a lot more stable. Didn't have to worry about it as much. I just wanted to make sure that the bun on the top was round, just like Katy Perry's bun. Now I'm gonna give this cake a little bit of a massage. I wet my gloves with a little bit of water and I just worked my hands all the way around the cake to smoothen out the icing. And it also melted the buttercream just enough so that it was tacky, so that the fondant would stick. And then I applied my first layer of fondant. I decided to place my fondant seam at the back. I wasn't sure how to do this at all. But Katy Perry's dress has a seam at the back because I remember when I saw her put it on in the bathroom. I feel so weird saying this sentence. When somebody posted the picture of her putting this on in the bathroom and then JLo was like walking past her, I saw that there was a seam at the back because that was the only way she could get it on. So that's why I decided to put the seam there. Just wrapped it around from front to back cut away the excess, and then push the bottom of the fondant underneath the cake. 
I was really worried about how I was gonna cover the top of this cake. I don't know. I've never done this before. Oh gosh, so stressful. I cut a hole into the fondant for her right hand. Look at that, so I could fit it. Oh, and it fell just a little bit, but that's okay. And then for her left hand, I didn't know where it was going to be, so I kind of just made the hole as I was wrapping the fondant. Pushing it onto the cake. Uh, and I gotta tell you guys, the seam at the back of this, no bueno. I didn't know how long the fondant was gonna stay tacky or if it was gonna start to like crack and so I was rushing it and that's why the seam was like bad. That's what happens when you're rushing things. They don't come out perfect, but it's okay. I prayed on it, I made my piece. It's fine. Push the fondant into the middle of the cake and I just cut away the excess. Now with some fondant tools at the top, I pushed the fondant into her neck and there's a little bit of like wrinkles. But that's okay because we're just gonna cover that up with a little bit of sesame seeds. There's nothing better than a vegan burger with a sesame seed bun. Now I wet the middle of my burger with a little bit of magic sauce and I started to apply all of my fondant filling. First up was my all vegan beef patty. <laughs> it's a thing you guys, I've eaten it. It's not actual beef, but it tastes pretty darn close. Again, just placing the seam at the back and then I started to add some lettuce. I wanted this to be like a double cheeseburger, but there's a lot of lettuce in Katy Perry's dress. More lettuce than I think I'm willing to eat in a burger, but that's fine. She likes it, that's good for her. Then I added two strips of red fun to create the tomatoes and I realized I forgot the cheese. I just tucked it in between the lettuce and the meat. And I think these are supposed to be pickles? I don't know. I couldn't tell from her dress, but I'm, I'm assuming they're pickles. So I just added pickles to the top of this. Do you guys like pickles in your burgers? My cousin doesn't. She's a kind of like, she puts it on the wrapper. So I don't like hanging out with her. Pickles are bomb, what are you talking about? And now these, I think these are onion rings or maybe they're fried jalapenos. They're on her dress, but I couldn't decipher what they were. I want them to be onion rings though because I love onion rings on a burger. I that and then it was time to start covering my mistakes with some sesame seeds. I'm just strategically randomly placing them so that they hide my mistakes. If you're not hiding your mistakes with sesame seeds, you're not living life. After I applied my last sesame seed, voila, my Katy Perry hamburger doll cake was complete. Isn't she stunning? She is the belle of the ball, isn't she? I was very happy with the way that this turned out. I really didn't think I was gonna be able to come up with a way to create this cake. The first thing I thought of was like, oh, maybe she's just like sitting on the ground and then there's like, the hamburger cake but then it's like a cop-out because we want her standing I want this standing I want to see her legs walking around in the hamburger suits so that's why I was like okay I think I got it with the PVC pipe I think I got it and I did I'm curious what other celebrity would you like to see me turn into a doll cake you want a Beyonce you want a Ariana Grande you, should I give you some Nicki Minaj you feeling a little bit of the Cardi B who what when what suit Where? what dress i can do it i think i can if i can do a hamburger dress then i can probably do one of those let me know in the comments below i hope you guys enjoyed this i love you i will see you very soon peace